Today, we are gonna be creating this really nice looking paint tear transition. So first thing is first, you are going to need to download this piece of footage from pexels.com. It's completely free. Then go ahead and open up motion. If you don't get the project browser, go ahead and push command option N. Then select the final cut transition and set your duration to two seconds. You also wanna make sure that your preset is set to 1080p and 2997. Go ahead and push open. From here, go ahead, push command I and locate the footage that you wanna work with. Once we have done that, go ahead and scoot forward to 22 frames and that is where the element starts. So you can see the paint drop starts there. So we will push I and that will trim it down. Then we can slide that to the beginning of our timeline. Now that we have our paint droplet in, go ahead and move forward in your timeline to when the transition is gonna happen. Then go ahead and change your tool to the anchor point tool. Then from there, we will click and drag and bring it just dead center on this paint streak here. This is going to make it so when we scale up our object, the is happening from this point rather than this point and it's just gonna make our lives a lot easier. After that, we can scoot to the very end and we can push O and that will trim down our media to the duration of our timeline. Okay, so now we gotta get into the animation element. So go ahead, move forward in your timeline till the paint droplet comes to the very bottom here. Then jump into your inspector, go to your properties, make sure your media is selected, then click on this down arrow and add a parameter behavior ramp. From here, we are going to need to trim down the duration of our ramp. So we'll start here right when the droplet hits the bottom of the screen. We'll push I, that will trim our ramp down. Go ahead and slide to the end of the timeline and find your end value here. Drag that all the way up until your paint streak is completely out of frame. After that, we can push Command A and you will notice the animation is a very straight line, so we need to fix that. Go ahead, go up to your curvature slider and slide that all the way up to 100% and now it's got a nice smooth curve to it. So now if we play back, we can see the animations happening of the paint streak growing over the entire frame. But you'll notice as it gets here, the edges are very pixelated. So we are going to add a Gaussian blur to fix that. Go ahead, select your media, go to your blurs and apply the Gaussian blur. We'll set it to zero, add a keyframe, and then at the very end, we will crank it all the way up to 64. Perfect. After that, you'll notice that we're still getting this white edge, which is going to be important to get rid of. So to fix that, go ahead, go back to your ramp and continue scaling it up until it's completely gone. So it looks like 2300 is a good number for that. Now, if we play back, we'll see the camera zooming in and it looks great. So let's go ahead and apply this to our transition elements. We're gonna select transition B and we're gonna to wanna to have it extend to the very beginning of the timeline. So select it, push I, that will extend it to the beginning and select transition A and you want it to go to the very end. So we'll go to the end and push O. So now both of those elements are happening over the entire duration. Now select transition A, right click and we are going to add an image mask. You can also achieve that with command shift M. From there, drag your media into the mask source here. You'll notice nothing is happening. That is because our source channel is applying from the alpha. We want it to apply from the luminance. So if I play through now, you'll see that transition B is actually happening where the paint mask is. So that effect is working great. So now if we just play through, we've got a perfect animation from transition A to transition B. B. So if you are happy with those results, you can push command S to publish it and we will call it paint tear or whatever you want to call it. Set it in whatever category you like and push publish. Now that I'm in Final Cut Pro, I can go over to my transitions here. We can look up the paint tear effect and drag it onto our timeline. And just like that, we have a great paint tear effect. If you liked this tutorial and want to see another transition tutorial, I strongly recommend you check out this video. Also, if you are a patron, you can download this transition right now. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.